Washington football fans, another video coming at you from the Washington Football Report. This is JD, let's dive into this. So Washington has come out with a nice little treat for us for the draft, making moves. Washington has swapped seventh round picks with Miami, which means I think they actually swap up a pick. Um, not really a huge move there, but we do move up a pick in the seventh round. So we swap seventh rounders and we are taking on Eric Flowers. He is the offensive guard, plays for Miami, costs $10 million a year for the year this year, $11 million uh, next year. Um, what does this say about Washington? Well, I like the fact that we're getting someone that we know can succeed. We're not getting a question mark. We're not getting a guess. That's one thing we can do about with our draft picks. We basically just traded our seventh rounder and got another seventh rounder and an offensive guard we know can work. Um, I don't know why the Miami Dolphins will get rid of him. Maybe they have a draft plan. I have no idea. But, um, yeah, I, I like this move, and it, I think it gives us a lot of possibilities. So I did a, a mock draft yesterday, and I actually had us taking Spencer Brown, and now I don't think we're going to take Spencer Brown. I think what this does is they're not going to pay this man $10 million to sit on the bench. I think he's going to start. He's going to play somewhere. But where my theory is they're going to trade Brandon Sheriff. Brandon Sheriff was offered the biggest contract um, that the, in, the, in, in the history of the NFL for a guard, paying more money than any other guard's ever made, and for some reason he won't take the contract. And I think Ron is just tired of the BS. He wants to get him locked in long term. I don't think he's playing games. I don't want to, he doesn't want to play these games like Washington did with Trent Williams, like Washington did with our, or, uh, her cousins. I don't think Ron's about playing these games. Either you want to be here or you don't. And if you want to be here, accept the contract. If you don't, we're franchise tag. You trade. You get something for you and move on. That's basically what Ron's thought process is. So, and I also don't think we're going to take Spencer Brown now. I think uh, Washington's going to focus on other parts of the team. So here's what our offensive line consists of as of right now. Washington has at right guard, right tackle, we have Morgan Moses. Um, at right guard, we have Brandon Sheriff. At center, we have Chase Roulier. At left guard, we have, if we went with last year's starters, we have uh, Wes Schweitzer, and we have uh, Cornelius Lucas at left tackle. Washington also has that, that you know, on the bench, you also have Shadik Charles. Okay, so just Shadik Charles can play left tackle. He can play left guard. They're probably going to play him one of those two places this year, work him in one way or the other. You also have now Eric Flowers, who can play a guard. You also have David Sharp. David Sharp is another option at guard, or, or uh, he can play left tackle, I'm sorry. And I don't remember the kid's name, but I know we got a kid who was from Wisconsin. He was on, I think it was on the Lions. He was an offensive line. I don't remember his name off the top of my head right now. So we have a lot of offensive linemen that we've kind of accumulated um, over the, over the, that we have on our roster, basically. We have a lot of good competition. I don't think Washington's going to draft two more offensive linemen like I initially project, projected. Um, I think they're going to draft. I think they're going to draft uh, one lineman, um, one that can be uh, kind of like a jack of all trades. I still think Arlo Jackson's on the table because you can get him in the fourth or fifth round. There's also the a guy I cannot think of his name right now. Damn it, my my memory is not good right now. It's been a rough day at work. Um, I need to get that out of there. Okay, good. Um, so one other thing that that uh, Washington. Um, what, there's a guy who played for Stanford and he was injured in 2018 or 2019. He sat out 2020, so he should be fresh. He's from Stanford, I believe. We could draft him as well. That's an option as well. Where he might go and draft it, I don't know. So what does this mean? Uh, I think Washington's moving on from the Sheriff. I, that's what it is. They're, I don't think Ron's going to play uh, play games and screw around. If you want to be here, we want you here. We're going to pay you the most money. and You don't want to accept that, then we're not going to play games. We're going to move on, and that's what I think that's what Ron's doing. So here's what the contract deal actually is with us. So... His contract this year is $10 million, which is not bad, which was dumb that he left because it's literally $2 million difference from what we would have paid. But he also went to Florida where there's no, there's no taxes, so probably about a good $6 million or $4 million difference, to be honest. Um, he, had to pay, he has to pay taxes on what he makes in, 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 in Virginia or, or D.C. or whatever you want to call it. So it's a $2 million difference, but he, made, he keeps more of his money in Miami. Um, but we're paying him $10 million this year. Next year, here's the thing. Here's the caveat about his contract that's really nice. So we really just got a player just by swapping sevens. And we get a really solid player that has a very team-friendly contract. Let's say Eric Flowers, we get him, and he sucks. He's just garbage. 
He's like, played for the Giants garbage. Like, when he played for the Giants, he was just garbage. Well, what we can do to counter that is next year in 2022, if he sucks, we can cut him and his salary is 11 million, but only 1 million is guaranteed. So we can literally cut him and only have $1 million of dead cap space. So it, it's a really team friendly deal. We're getting him for basically having one year rental with an option for two. And it's a God, man, we're making, I love seeing these moves, man. I love seeing these moves. I still, I hope that we have something planned. I mean, I did some uh, shifting around of stuff when I did my mock draft. Um, so I got to shift around now because I'm going to be on, I have a, I'm on the, uh, on the Warpath podcast tonight at nine o'clock. I think it's a live stream. So uh, I recommend everyone uh, watch it. I recommend you, uh, you know, watch the live stream. It's going to be pretty cool and pretty fun. And uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be exciting. But uh, yeah, this is a good deal for Washington. I like Eric Flowers. I think he made a revival here. And I think he actually wanted to stay because I think he liked the, uh, the environment, the team. Um, but I think this for Washington, Washington going forward has a lot of good um, pieces that are going to build a very solid offensive line. It's a good puzzle. It's got to fit together right. What's going to happen is, are we going to, uh, I'm just tapping this to make sure it doesn't time out. So what's going to happen with that? Or are we going to, um, are we going to have our starting quarter, or are uh, we going to have our offensive line? Is Shadik Charles going to make the transition to left tackle? Um, is he going to play le left guard? Is Eric Flowers going to play left guard? And Shadik Charles going to sit out another year? And we're going to keep Brandon Sheriff for his last year and then prep, prep someone to take his place? There's so many options up in the air, but I really think what this has done, this is kind of like move remove Washington from the whole getting an offensive tackle or offensive lineman in the first three rounds thing. I think they like the uh, offensive lineman they have. I think Braun is confident in his, on on their development, and I think moving forward, that's what Ron wants to do. I think I think he's going to focus his draft picks on other things like the defense. Um, he's going to draft. He's going to focus his offense, his uh, draft picks on linebackers, free safeties, uh, maybe even a quarterback. I hope he doesn't trade. I really hope he doesn't trade out for one. Uh, if he trades, I want him to trade and trade for. I, I don't want to get into that. It's not wrong video, but I think we're just going to focus on tight end, uh, free safety linebacker and potentially quarterback those are like the main things and potentially running back as well so but that's that's good that this is good management this is i'm, I'm loving this man i'm loving now i know how other teams feel when their team makes a good move and puts themselves in like such a good spot and now i know how other teams feel it's amazing they have good management making smart moves yeah it's 10 million dollars we have the money it wasn't like we we're gonna go spend another 20 million dollars in free agency okay we had about like I think we had about almost twenty million dollars left. There's ten right there, um, and then you, you 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 have your free agents. And I think Ron has a plan for every draft pick of uh, where we can pick up the other needs we have, not having to go to the free agency, or maybe one position go free agency and the rest of them we're gonna, just gonna get them in the draft. So we shall see. I, I'm very excited to see it. I don't I, I don't want to get into that not in this video. By the way, last thing, um, like I said, I'm going to be on the, the On the Warpath podcast. It's a YouTube um, live stream. Um, go follow it. It's a good channel, um, On the Warpath. Uh, it's Corey and I guess a couple other people are going to be on. And uh, it's going to be real exciting. I can't wait. It's going to be a good time. Um, and I hope to see you guys on there. Um, this is the Washington Football Report. This is JD. Hail to the Redskins. See ya.